Hi, my name is Joshua, and in this video, we are going to implement Tailwind CSS with Payload 3.0 in the admin panel. Now, luckily, in comparison to Payload 2.0, this is now an easier process than before, but there's still some things we need to consider, so let's jump right in. For this, we are going to create a new Payload project with n and px create payload app and beta. Now we let this run. The name is payload tailwind and it's a blank project. We're going to use MongoDB, although it doesn't really matter what you want to use here. At this point, I'm just going to paste my MongoDB connection string. Now, if everything went right, it should have installed the rest of the dependencies and we can now open our project. I put it into documents and oh yeah, yeah, I'm in the way and we open it. Is it opening? Aye, this is awkward. Now, let's click on this and on that and now it's opening. Perfect. Yes, I trust the author. Let's open the terminal and we run the whole thing. For that we're going to use pnpm run dev and it's starting up. We're going to go into our web browser and type localhost uh, colon 3000 slash admin. Don't forget the admin because at the slash route there is nothing there yet because our Next.js app is going to go there. Now this is compiling. It will take a moment. No, we waited for a second for this to continue. Yes, it's working and you can put in your username and your email. We are going to put test at mail.com and as password the super safe one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven and create it now google chrome is going to warn me that that's a very unsafe password we're going to accept the risk for now and yeah we arrived at our dashboard it is plainly boring and we want to use tailwind to make it more fun we go what we're going to do specifically is we go into our user and we're going to add a view here that we're going to style. For that, we need, let's first add a view and then we can see a before and after. In payload three, adding views, adding custom views is a little bit different than before because we cannot add directly import any component into configuration files and collection configuration is a configuration file. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna pass a string. Let's go into the user. We're gonna create our custom view here. Let's have it like that. Uh, name, we name it view and we give it a type UI. And then we're gonna pass the view into admin IIA components and in components wait is everything all right here in components we want to pass on into field we're gonna pass this a string and this string is the path to our react component so in all the configuration files they're simply spray plain plain strings and we can also work with the configuration files in the front end but this is another subject now let's create a folder for our components for our fun components with tailwind and create a file in here it's gonna be custom component.tsx and in here we are going to create a very simple component import react from react const custom component of type react.fc equals return custom component and don't forget to export it now how do we get it in here we know we have the components folder it's in the src folder so we're gonna do components slash custom component and we save all of this save it save it we go to our view we're gonna reload it and pray that it's gonna be there will only take for a few seconds moments minutes 
And perfect, it loaded. Now we have here our custom component. We can change our text to custom view. It's gonna be reflected here as soon as we reload. Okay, um, now nah, it's gonna load again, custom view. So we have full control over this now and we want to style it in a fun way. Now let's make it fun with Tailwind. In order to use Tailwind in our project, we can more or less follow the standard installing procedure that is on the Tailwind website. For this, we use pnpm install minus, minus d tailwind css post css auto prefixer press enter we install all of it now when that has been installed we're gonna initialize pay as tailwind tailwind css with npx tailwind css in it minus p and this is gonna create our beloved configuration files now the first important thing you need to do is in Tailwind config, we need to tell, tell Tailwind what files to actually go through to generate the styles. And this is in content, we're gonna pass on a string, um, src, because we're gonna simply tell that everything in the source directory is a potential target for Tailwind, everything, every file, with the endings dot uh, ts, and tsx. Now this is everything we need to do here and we're gonna continue on creating or actually importing the Tailwind styles into our payload backend. Now for that we're gonna create in the source directory a tailwind.css file. In here there if you follow the normal Tailwind um, instructions it's gonna tell you to import three things but the tailwind base styles they're gonna interfere with payloads so we're not gonna import them we are only going to import the components and the tailwind utilities now with this set there is one last step that is keeping us from having a fun payload backend and that is importing our Tailwind CSS in the layout TSX that you find in App Payload Admin. In here, you're gonna do import. Import, then we're gonna use the add symbol slash tailwind.css. Now, this should, let's start the pnpm run dev. In theory, already work, but we're gonna see nothing because we didn't apply styling yet. Where is our beautiful view? Now, in order to make it fun, we're gonna class the class name, font bold, texts red, 500, text XL, no, let's make it big, text 5XL, and we're gonna restart, no, it's already restarted, we're gonna reload the page, it's gonna compile for a while, and and after it compiled for a while, we're gonna see this beauty. And you can officially use your Tailwind styles in Payload 3.0. Now, this is in grand anticipation of the actual release. We're all going to hope it's gonna be soon. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and see you the next time.